My name's Robert Gary. I'm a professor at Tulane Medical School here in New Orleans, and I'm a virologist, so I study viruses, and mostly I study ways to combat those viruses. I've been interested in viruses for a very long time, probably about five decades now. Just started to delve into them a little bit and just became fascinated overall about how these very tiny organisms with very limited numbers of genes could cause so much damage and destruction. I'm working on a virus called Lassa virus that causes a disease in West Africa called Lassa fever. Now, this virus probably kills thousands of people each year, but we don't know if it's going to stay there in West Africa. So it's possible it could become a pathogen that we have to deal with in other parts of the world too, maybe even in North America. I've worked with a lot of other people here at Tulane and across the world, actually. One of my major collaborators happened to just end up in the office right next to me, James Robinson, an expert in making human monoclonal antibodies. So when I started to work on Lassa virus, we eventually moved into making these human monoclonal antibodies, which I think is going to have a big impact on, on how people treat Lassa fever in West Africa in, in the pretty near future, we hope. Right now we're in some clinical trials for the Lassa vaccines. We desperately need a Lassa vaccine to keep this virus from actually killing people in West Africa. I wouldn't want to be in any other field. Virology is just constantly changing and creating new challenges that really are exciting for me. Young researchers that want to enter the field of virology should take some basic courses. You need to have a little biochemistry, you need to have some basic microbiology, and go for it. We need all the exciting young scientists moving into this field that we can get. I've been at Tulane now for over 40 years. The university has been very supportive of my work and I'm much appreciative of that. But I think we're at a, a really more of a pinnacle now than I've seen in a long time. I mean, we have administrators and like the president that are very supportive of research. The environment has just gotten better and better over those 40 years. And I, th I think we're really at a peak and ready to move even further. <laughs>